In this video, I will show you how to achieve excellent throws on all of the five currently released Dynamax Pokemon, which are Squavit, Wooloo, Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. These guides will be based on at least five excellent throws per Pokemon that I achieved in the last couple of days since their release. Along the way, we will discuss the truly odd Squavit encounter and throw, which I think you'll find interesting and instructive. While excellent throws are not really necessary to catch the Pokemon in this first batch of Dynamax Pokemon, this is a good opportunity to learn about Dynamax throwing mechanics so that once more difficult to catch Dynamax Pokemon are released, we already have some knowledge and muscle memory to use to achieve a high catch rate. Let's start off with Squavit. There's something peculiar about Dynamax Squavit's catch encounter. Unlike the other four Dynamax Pokemon currently available, Squavit's position during the encounter is randomized to one of three positions. It can either be in the center, slightly left, or slightly right. After completing encounters with Dynamax Wooloo, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, and Charmander, I can report that I've never observed this behavior on any of those. It appears this positioning quirk is unique to Squavit. I'm not sure if it's a bug or an intentional feature, but it sure is strange. Another oddity about Squavit is that its excellent throw is by far the least intuitive of the five discussed in this video. I found it extremely difficult to throw the ball low enough to hit the excellent throw catch circle. With what feels like a natural throw, the ball goes super high. After much experimentation, I found that it is barely possible to hit the excellent catch circle with extremely short throws, as shown here. Each point here shows the spot where my finger left the screen, resulting in an excellent throw. The orange point shows the spot that I believe you should target, and the arrow shows the direction that your finger should approach the release point. Here is the same set of release points mirrored for those who curve counterclockwise. The guide I just showed is specific to Squavit's center position. Since its left and right positions are not too different, a similar throw should work, although I haven't actually achieved this yet. Next, let's look at Wooloo. This is a much more conventional throw. While the throw has the unfamiliar floatiness characteristic of the new Dynamax throwing mechanics, it feels much more natural than Squavit's throw. Each point here shows the spot where my finger left the screen, resulting in an excellent throw. The orange point shows the spot that I believe you should target, and the arrow shows the direction that your finger should approach the release point. Here is the same set of release points mirrored for those who curve counterclockwise. Next, let's look at Bulbasaur. This throw is also reasonably straightforward with some practice at Dynamax throwing, since it most closely resembles a throw you might be familiar with from normal catch encounters. Each point here shows the spot where my finger left the screen, resulting in an excellent throw. The orange point shows the spot that I believe you should target, and the arrow shows the direction that your finger should approach the release point. Here is the same set of release points mirrored for those who curve counterclockwise. Next, let's look at Charmander. This throw is a little more unnatural feeling, I find that it requires a release point quite far up the screen, with a release point near the middle of the screen. Each point here shows the spot where my finger left the screen, resulting in an excellent throw. The orange point shows the spot that I believe you should target, and the arrow shows the direction that your finger should approach the release point. Here is the same set of release points mirrored for those who curve counterclockwise. Finally, let's look at Squirtle. I find this throw to be the hardest other than Squavit. It requires a release point around the center of the screen, or even slightly to the right. It was very unreliable to hit successfully. Each point here shows the spot where my finger left the screen, resulting in an excellent throw. The orange point shows the spot that I believe you should target, and the arrow shows the direction that your finger should approach the release point. Here is the same set of release points mirrored for those who curve counterclockwise. Overall, I found these throws quite interesting to learn. They are all quite different, and a couple of them are quite difficult, with Squavit by far the hardest and Squirtle being the second hardest, in my opinion. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the new Dynamax throwing mechanics, and if you'd like to see me cover excellent throws for more Dynamax Pokemon as they are released. Please like and subscribe to see more from the excellent Pokédex. I'll see you next time.